Welcome if you kiss. Okay, so we're going to see uh, what it is that you may need help with over the next couple of weeks. Okay, so regardless of when you see this video, um, these messages will apply. Okay, so Druid Wisdom is what we will be starting with here, followed by Mystical Journey Oracle and also the Light Seers Tarot. Righty, ho ho, let's get started. Okay. If you could, three cards for a few kids, please. Messages for a few kids that they most need to hear right now. Sacred Lakes. That didn't fall out the way I wanted it to. Oh, this is beautiful. Wow. Check that out. Isn't that gorgeous? It says, Sacred Lakes. Rest becomes welcome after a day of work and dedication. The Welsh waters of Mount Snowdon anoint you with purification. Place a small sprig of lavender under your pillow for peace. Oh, very nice. I kind of feel like a few kiss, it's more than just a day of work. You know, it can be a period of time of going through something that, you know, you just might want that um, to escape from any heavy emotions or pretty much anything, really. So next card for a few kiss, please. Pilgrim's Peace. Well, you see, here's this escape again, right? Out of the hustle and bustle of what's going on. Pack a bag and get away for a while. Find a way to gain perspective from higher ground. Trust your place in the great and glorious grand scheme of things. Life is a spiritual pilgrimage. Carry rainforest jasper to awaken spiritual awareness. Um, if, you could, if you can't get hold of any of those items, what I would personally do is find maybe a screenshot or like get a screenshot or um, print out an image of that and infuse it with the intention that it's giving you what it is that you need from that item. Okay, next best thing. But, you know, if you can get hold of it, it's the first best thing. <laughs> okay, so next, last I didn't like that. Last card. I didn't like. I like it to jump out like that. I don't know if you saw that or not, but that's how I like it. Winding trail. The winding trail. Hawthorne and Heathers, Rowan and Rue, Scotland's unique mysteries and magic are waiting just for you. Ooh, on an adventure, maybe this rest and relaxation is meant to be taken before you take an adventure. The purple thistle flower is the national symbol of Scotland. Wear a thistle necklace or charm for devotion, resilience, protection and strength. Okay, so I just wonder if there's a new journey coming up for you. A few, cause let's have a look here and see what comes out, eh? Okay. So, first card for a few kiss, please. Resistance. Mm. Resistance. This could be a card, uh, a card, a path that potentially you're resisting. Um, I feel like there's this need for cleansing. Okay, this need for cleansing of your energy. Okay. Um, I also feel like taking this advice from these three initial cards here is going to help you to clear the emotions. Um, and I also feel like, if you kiss, interesting, because I've never seen this about this card before, a couple of things actually. Um, there's options for you to... I just wonder if you're in the process of deciding which direction to go in. And it's not... A matter of either this way or this way, there's a myriad of options. And um, 
I kind of want to say that there's something, there's this resistance from moving forward um, because you you feel like you have to decide first before you take those first steps forward. But as you can see here along this um, staircase, there's lots of doorways and there's one doorway up here. I feel like they're all going to lead to this one doorway. So I feel as though in the biggest scheme of things that it doesn't really necessarily matter which doorway you walk through, you're going to have the same outcome anyway. So I feel like it's the outcome that you could be stressing about and there's no need to stress about it, okay? Um, I feel like if you can just get a handle on those emotions and rise above them, that you will be able to move forward with ease. Okay, maybe a little bit of nervousness because always the unknown is a bit nerve-wracking, right? But, um, but you will be able to take those steps forward. This is a massive change here, right? Um, we've got justice and we've got temperance. Very interesting because um, there's something here, if you kiss, about um, I want to say not seeing things how they truly are, but um, but these these. I just wonder if for some of you you're trying to maybe turn a blind eye to something or not seeing something, but in your heart of hearts you can't actually deny it. It's like you can't escape it, and um, because you can feel it within you, and. Because I kind of have this, this sense of sort of like how this one at the top here is closing her eyes and kind of going within. Okay, that's what that's about then. Sorry if you kiss. Um, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So closing your eyes and going within allows you to see allows you to tap into the answers that you seek. Um, I feel as though there is, and, and it actually allows you to get the balance that you need in your life. Okay, I feel like for some of you, there's sort of this external seeking to try and um, maybe fulfill something in your life okay but it actually comes from within and it's really interesting because these two um, cups here um, I'm for some reason being reminded of the two of cups and I feel as though in order to fill the cups even though with the two of cups only one cup is your responsibility but in order to get balance with the two of cups you need to go within and I just wonder if this is to do with this path here um, so going to go on this journey it's a matter of going within to um, to balance out the emotions in order to proceed forward Okay, and we also have the temperance card here. And yeah, again, this is this balance, right? Um, really looking at what the purpose is in your life here, if you kiss. And I feel like those answers are going to come within if you're not sure. Come from within if you are unsure of what that purpose is. For others of you, you do know what that purpose is. And um, so that's okay, but the path is still a bit daunting, I feel. Um, and again, just remember, if you kiss that, um, no matter which 
path you choose or which doorway you go through, you're still going to end up at the same um, destination. So it, that's okay, right? Um, energy shift. Oh, yeah, I like this. I really love this. Um, there needs to be this energy shift to get out of this resistance, okay, that is stopping you from proceeding forward. Because um, I feel like what is happening is that as you resist this um, journey, you are actually squashing your passion, you're squashing your purpose, okay, and um, when you embrace this journey, no matter how scary it is, when you start going along this winding trail, and yeah, it's going to be winding, at windy, and you're not going to see some things, you're not going to know everything that's coming up, you're going to learn along the way, like every other journey that we take, there's going to be good times, there's going to be bad times, there's going to be all sorts of times, right, um, but when you stand in that power of Fucus, of knowing that this is part of your purpose and part of your mission here, this is why you came here to this planet, um, then you are going to be able to vibrate a um, an energy that brings to you what it is that you need and you're going to be able to shift out this more dense energy into a higher vibrational level, okay? Which is going to change things a lot for you. And that's going to also allow um, this, this sort of natural passion within you to rise up, okay? So tell me more about energy shift for a fucus, please. Tell me more about energy shift for a fucus. Mm, holding back. See, there's still this resistance here, right? Wow. I'm going to have to do one more shuffle, otherwise I'll pick from the top. A focus. Energy shift for a focus, please. Oh, there's one. Okay. We've got the tower. We've got the tower here. This is fear, I feel. Shifting out of this tower energy, right? And this could be a new path after the tower um, has happened. And I feel like if you kiss, you are actually, well, um, sorry, I just got another two cards pop out, which I wasn't going to take, but I feel I had to. Um, yes, this, this, Fear of the tower happening again as you go along, you know, as you begin this new journey. Um, this new journey may have been from the tower, actually. Um, but either way, I feel like this fear I actually feel like it's controlling you quite a bit. And Yeah, because I feel quite, um, there's, there's a lot of anxiety about it, you know, and um, because there's been such, um, such a shake up in this absolute, there's, there's, there's a chaotic energy about it and this is the energy that needs to be shifted, okay, because I feel like that's still very much within you around you okay we've got the ace of cups here and um this can be the beginning of new love but i want to say here a few kiss that this is this passion bringing up this passion within you allowing this to rise up right it's filling up this cup here and when i was talking about here filling up these cups you know you could fill this cup up with this passion um so that yeah, you can take that along your journey because before when I was talking about going along this journey, um, I was seeing it as someone carrying water, like supplies, um, you know, like the water barrels kind of thing. 
um, so that you've got water along the way to walk through this apparent desert at the back here, right? Um, and and I really feel like this energy here is what is needed for you to proceed along this journey, for you to get excited, for you to get this passion about, okay, this has happened. There's nothing that you can do about that now. It is done. And I don't mean that and to minimize it at all. Not at all. Um, there's nothing you can do about that. You can't change that. But what you can change is what you create in the future for yourself. Okay, and in order to create what it is that you want for your future self, your energy needs to shift in the now. Because otherwise you'll continue to create this if this is the energy that you keep emanating, okay? Um, and we've got the wheel here. And this is this turning for you. You know, you were down here and now it's time for you to rise up again and be on top of the wheel. Okay, this is this is an awesome change for you. And, um, and I feel like this is, you know, a new cycle. That, that look, it happens always in our life, right? We always go through different cycles and things change. And I feel like now you're going to, after this, I love that this has come up after this because this is such a change in this, you know, um, and things are going to turn around for you, okay? So embrace this, embrace this, Fucus, because i feel as though that's part of that change really okay so next card for a focus please awakening oh well yeah this is this is this after the tower this is what is after the tower yeah the wings are being burned the wings are being clipped still there's remnants of this um you know, these ashes sort of thing, but this is you rising up, even though you're battered and um, you're being torn down, right? But here, here, around this heart, right, around this Ace of Cups here, around the heart area is the sun shining here, right? So this is what is waiting for you. This is what you're going to be able to arrive at. Okay, because I'm seeing this heart in here, the lightning has absolutely pierced that heart. It has pierced the heart. But with the wheel turning in the Ace of Cups, this allows the sun to shine again. The heart can be repaired. Yeah, and this journey is going to help with that right taking the time to immerse yourself in these sacred lakes right to allow that um, purification to cleanse your energy is going to help with this energy shift here getting away for a while get gaining a perspective you know what is it find a way to gain perspective from a higher ground okay to see how you can make this work for you even though it may have been something you didn't want okay how you can actually walk this path in your power so tell me more about awakening for a few kiss please tell me more about awakening for a few kiss this is actually a really positive um energy that i'm feeling here a few kiss it's not heavy um <laughs> we've got the hierophant here i love this card one of my favorite cards in this deck because the energy is amazing and we've got the knight of swords okay oh yes 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 okay so um oh, this is great this is a great great message uh the hierophant you know this is this pathway yeah these are these steps here Okay, and um, this is this energy, this energy shift, right, of someone could be at the bottom of the steps here going, oh my gosh, there's so many steps, look how far it is to climb 
this the staircase is so high you can't even see visibly see the ending of it how on earth am i ever going to get out there right the hierophant sits beneath at the at the bottom of the staircase and laughs and says not a problem raise your vibration raise your energy and you can levitate there right there are other ways to travel the path if you believe the path is going to be tough and it's going to be hard it's going to be because that's what you will see and that's what you will be drawn to if you believe that it's going to be it's exciting and it's going to be a journey of a journey of learning and discovering and you know experiencing all these new things then that is what your journey will be it is up to you as to what journey you will take and maybe this is what the doorways are all about maybe the doorways are the options of your emotions that you feel along the journey because these doorways are full of water here right and that is in your control. Yeah, you hold that in the palm of your hand. You control your emotions. You can decide what you feel, what you think, what you emanate out. It's all up to you. And I just wonder if you um, are not quite seeing the power that you hold in that regard. Okay, um, the Knight of Swords. And this person here, I love this because it's like he's gone, yeah, I could... You know, I've been walking along and it's been so, it's, I'm so um, tired and I didn't bring my, my, um, where is it, my water with me, wherever that card is. Um, I didn't bring my water with me, like I'm really tired. And then he's like, oh, actually I'm going to change that and go, oh, I could, I could jump on a motorbike and go and do that. And I could have some kind of crow lead the way, right? And so he changes that thought um to something else that is more helpful and positive and look what appears a motorbike so he goes running this way yes i'm on my way now you know so this is an example of how this can actually happen for you okay so next card for a few kiss please That's being bound being bound this is I feel like you being bound, I feel like there's this sense of um, that if you let go and trust and surrender that it makes you more vulnerable. I feel like you um, being so cautious and being so, um, excuse me, um, being so... Mm, that's the wrong way to put it. The best way to put it, Ophiuchus, is that before when you let everything go and trusted the process um, and was positive and it's all going to be wonderful and it's going to be amazing, the tower happened. And it didn't turn out like that. So now you're like, I'm not going to do that again. I'm going to do it this way. But I think what you, it is a sort of protection in a sense. That's not going to help you at all. Okay. You've learned things along the way. You have learned things a lot. Do I want that card? If it's meant to come out, it will. I don't like the way it jumped out. Um, It didn't even jump out. It just fell. You've learned things along the way that you will be able to use along this next cycle of your life, right? And so that's more like it. How many cards is that now? Okay, we're taking them because of the way they came out. Um, you know, and so in that regard, you're going to be able to travel this journey differently, okay? Um and that's, you know, everyone has tower moments in their life. Everyone has maybe more than one tower moment in their life, right? Um, but you can look 
for the um the hidden blessings in that tower moment okay and find the treasure from it because there is treasure there yeah the forest burns to regenerate okay and this is a regeneration for you okay so this is a matter of you unbinding yourself okay um so, yeah see look these guys are climbing up here on these sticks to burn this forest um because they know that this is necessary for them to be able to continue on um there's it's so funny i love these cards because i get such different messages from them and i'm sure i say that every time i do a reading but anyhow i'm gonna just say it again um i feel like this is also you discovering the different ways to travel similar to the knight of swords trying out new things because um part of this being bound is that you're not trying new things you're not trying things out and it's sort of like if you because you only try it out if you know it will work and um and i feel like you just need to do it anyway because i'm looking at this person here hanging off down the bottom and it's like oh well i'll try and climb along the you know thing that way and see how that works maybe it will be easier maybe it will be less tiring and they may find it doesn't get them anywhere so they need to try jumping up here and then they you know and using the sticks the wands to actually rise up you know to understand that yes the journey is going to have its challenges but each each time there's a challenge you gain another wand which is going to take you to different heights okay um and then we have death and rebirth yes this is exactly what i'm saying these endings happen in order for the rebirths to take place yeah in order for this new this regeneration in your life to happen okay and we have the page of wands and so you know this could be actually about you learning something new something that you're passionate about so that you can find that joy in your life again if you just okay um but honestly overall i'm feeling like this is such a positive thing for you we've got the path <laughs> the path um there's there's lots of different paths um i actually feel like you have more options okay yeah because okay yeah so when i was talking about before about the options this is the options of your emotions that you are going to carry along the path okay and once you master those and get those um a handle on those right then the path is is again still your choice okay but i want to say um that there's no wrong path there's no wrong path at all of you this because um the, the options of the paths are all there for a reason and once you've traveled one there will be the next one to travel which you could have taken before but it doesn't mean that there's ever a wrong choice okay and i think some of you are afraid of making the wrong choice um okay two cards for the path for a few please um, yeah, some of you are afraid of making the wrong choice because you feel like you made the wrong choice last time, which led to the tower moment, but it would have happened anyway regardless. Something would have happened in order to steer you in a new direction, okay? Might not have been exactly the same, but it would have been different, okay? Yeah, this is you judging yourself here. Um, and, and sort of, I feel like surrendering, this is this need to surrender, right? So that um, you can allow this um, this rebirth to happen. Yeah, um, I think you need to. I think you're really far too hard on yourself, and you need to let that go because it's not serving you. Okay, and beating yourself up about it is not 
going to help it's going only going to hinder you okay the queen of wands you see again this is this passion that i was talking about earlier about letting that rise up inside okay because she has lit in all these candles here and i feel like these candles are representative of you lighting the way um, on the path that you're about to embark upon okay and she you know, most people would go hunting for a match or a lighter or something to light these candles right. She is aware the fire is within her. In order to light the way, she needs to allow her light to shine. She doesn't need a match or a lighter. It's within her. Right? And so this, I think, is about you letting go of all the stuff that you carry around, that you beat yourself up with. Letting go of that so that the light can shine. Because um, this, this punishment that you do to yourself, it does nothing other than hold you back. Okay? And you deserve so much more. You deserve so much more um, and I really feel like it's time to stop being so hard on yourself, okay? And the next card we have here is growth. So this is planting the seed, a fucus. Planting the seed and, it, and this is it, right? This is a, a perfect example. If you were to plant a seed and, you know, you've seen the studies, right, where you have a plant and you talk nastily or give it you know the cold shoulder or whatever it doesn't do so well as the next plant that grows um with love and nurturing and kindness right so how on earth do you expect yourself to grow when you're absolutely rubbishing yourself it's not going to happen right so let yourself grow in an environment which is conducive to your to actually fulfilling your purpose okay so two cards for growth please for a few kiss got the two of wands here and we've got the lovers nice this is really nice with the Ace of Cups here. Talking about the Two of Cups earlier. Um, the Two of Wands. This is, I feel like, you sort of pondering on what was lost again. So this is something that is really important for you to put behind you in order for this growth to happen, okay? But the other thing about this is also making this choice of which path to take. There could be a choice between two people that you need to make. Um, that's a possibility okay um, but I would say that whatever it is that you are deciding upon do what sets your soul on fire doesn't matter what it looks like on paper okay if you kiss um, because it's about what is in here it's about this heart space okay um, so come out of here and into here and you will you will be able to travel the path with confidence with the knowledge that you possess inside okay i'm going to leave that with you if you can take care of your beautiful selves see you bye bye